Hi guys, um, hope you're all having a lovely day as always. I'm here at home, I've come home for a few days of recharge and resting uh, with my family and of course the main man who's currently sat on my knee. Excuse the background and everything, I just, as always you know me, when I want to talk about something I just get the camera out and start talking. Um, and I was going to do a video anyway on, of course, England Lionesses, a huge congratulations to Phil Neville and England, all the girls, for winning the She Believes Cup. Um, obviously, this is a, it's a friendly tournament, but it's a huge thing to win going into the World Cup this summer in France. And, you know, some of the results and performances that the girls put in as well, you know, come from a goal behind to beat Brazil 2-1. Drew two all with the States coming from behind there as well and actually going up ahead in that game. But again, a super performance. Um, and then beating Japan the other night 3-0. Now Japan are a very good side as well, but particularly the first half against Japan just absolutely showcased our quality and, yeah, put the game to bed, really, in the first half. So a huge congratulations, as I said, to Phil and all the girls. Done us all proud and, you know... Again, another thing to get people invested um, before the World Cup this summer. We want everyone behind the girls as much as possible. And, you know, for what it does for the women's game as well, seeing England go and, and get a fantastic um, result like that, like winning the She Believes Cup and so, by some playing the top teams as well, um, it's, it's sending the right message out that we've got a, a superb team there and and getting people on board really heading into the world cup this summer so that's what i wanted to say congratulations to them i watched every game and yeah you know considering there was a lot of rotation as well in there with the players i think it's just exciting to think of the quality and depth that we've got in the side so well done to all involved um certainly got me more excited for the summer as well but the thing i wanted to talk about as well it's yeah uh, it's due to the fantastic tournament that the girls had. Um, I've seen a few things, you know, naming no names because I wouldn't want to give people the satisfaction, to be honest with you, but it's always going to happen, isn't it? You're just waiting for your small-minded, absolute dickheads, to be honest with you, um, that will use something like this as, a, as an excuse to be sexist and undermining and make pathetic little digs at the women's team, you know, like showing the girls celebrating and saying oh the when you when your boyfriends fix uh, fix the washing machine or something like that and i just think oh my god now there will don't get me wrong don't get me wrong there will absolutely be an audience of people that are probably seeing tweets like that and pissing their pants laughing thinking it's so funny because it's just so funny because football isn't a place for women is it you know football isn't a place for women it's not for girls it's for men they should stay in the kitchen and make their sandwiches and all this shit oh i'm trying not to swear too much but honest to god just off off editing myself here muting myself it boils it boils my blood it really does um I'd love to see them say that to the girl's face, by the way. And I'd love to see, you know, if we could get 11 of you absolute bellends, 11 of you small-minded, emasculated, by the way, because a lot of this is just to do with the fact that blokes, some blokes cannot stand to hear girls talk about football and know more about football than them because it emasculates them and they can't deal with it. So instead, they just make their stupid comments. But yeah, if we could get 11 of you absolute imbeciles together and have, you know, 11 against 11, standard size pitch against the girls, you would get your arses absolutely handed to you. And I just think that's it, that people can't stand it. It drives me mad. And don't get me wrong, it is a minority. As I say, there's an audience for you, small-minded idiots. But the majority of people, I think, are fully behind it. And educate yourselves as well. Do some research. You know, look at the women's game in the 20s, the 1920s. Was, the game was getting like 50,000 spectators and it was then it was banned um until the 1970s so the women's game is huge and you know it's so important for us to get behind these girls they're doing exactly the same and i heard rachel brown recently as well say we've got to stop making this comparison 
of the women's game and the men's game. She's like, we're women. That's why we play the women's game, because we're not men. So you've got to stop. But what they do, it's exactly the same game. These girls are unbelievable. So many of my mates have come to watch Everton Ladies, you know, after me saying, come down or, or whatever. And they've gone, do you know what, Sarah? I've got to be honest with you. Like, I'm a bit... I'm a bit embarrassed because I, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting the standard to be so high. And they're like, it's boss. They love coming to watch the girls now. Um, it's a privilege for me to get to to work with and, and, and chat to the girls and see them perform because their work ethic and, you know, the drive and determination. And these girls, they, they're not getting the big wedges like all the, all the men's game are. And I know that's not, I'm not criticising the guys because it's not their fault that they're going to, some of them are getting paid 400 freaking grand a week. You know what I mean? But, you know, these girls aren't getting anything like that. And they work so hard to just get shitty, pathetic little digs like that. And I like I know I'm being a crank, but it's just it just pisses me off so much. It really, really does. Um, and what I would say to anyone who's who, who, who's criticising and thinks it's funny to ridicule, get your ass down, get your ass down. Whether it's to watch Everton ladies, whether whoever you are, wherever you are, go and watch your women's women's side, or go and watch a women's side, and and then pass comment. Do you know what I mean? It's absolutely ridiculous. Yet you see these men going up to meet the girls after the games and that going, oh, well done. Yet they're these seen ones, these keyboard warriors. These are pathetic. And it drives me mad. And as I say, I apologise for being such a crank. And I know I'm being a crank, but I have to get that out. People will probably go, ooh, is it your time of the month or something like that? You know, it's always going to happen. You're always going to get dickheads giving you shit. I've had it myself, you know, with what I'm doing and stuff now. I'll always get the odd dickhead giving me pure shit. And it's like, crack on at the end of the day do your thing you're getting paid do your thing and girls as well i had, I had a lovely tweet off a guy i'm um, sorry i'm totally rambling now as well i had a lovely tweet off a guy on twitter saying that he's got a daughter over in the us who plays football and you know he's proud to see that we're trying to push the get the get the girls more credit and more coverage that they deserve because my god i just think these girls are just so boss and, and deserve more than what they are getting. Um, and they certainly don't. Not that it'll not that it'll even, you know, these people that are typing this shit aren't even on their radar, do you know what I mean? They've got bigger fish to fry, but just just shut up. Just pack it in, give it a rest. And um, yeah, as I say, I get shit all the time, but you just gotta grin and bear it. And a lot of it is to do with, as I said, a lot of blokes just can't deal with the fact that women are talking about football. And it's it's a minority, I've got to stress that, because I've got you know, most blokes that I know um, and people I talk to about footy are absolutely sound. You know what I mean? Um, it is a minority, but they need calling out because it just, it absolutely does my head in. And I'm going to be doing a lot more. Um, I'm hoping to put together a piece leading up to the summer, uh, hopefully speak to a few of our girls, um, do some about how big the women's game used to be and hopefully pushing it in the right direction. I believe it's on upward trajectory now. Uh, it's only going to get bigger, but if we can all do our bit. And yeah, Blues that are watching this as well, next home game at Southport, get your asses down there, get your backsides down there and let's cheer our girls on because, you know, I know it's a bit of a nuisance with where we're playing at the moment and stuff, but the girls deserve um, to to hear the crowd when they're playing out there and um yeah get your asses down there be made up to see you all and i absolutely love it i'm sorry again for rambling and and um doing it even more now but yeah i just had to get that off my chest because it pisses me off but yeah that's it really um and most of you most of you blokes are sound so don't take this as like a feminist angry rant either because no doubt people will be saying saying that but yeah I just had to get it off my chest. And now I'm gonna take Dixie on a walk and chill out. Have a good day guys, speak to you soon.